anything away from it. And yet our whole lives we walk and we're continually trying to add or take away things to make it better. So, but there is no better to be had. There is no better to be had. All right, what did, so, let me see. We are, have spent a whole hour, Mitzi, <laughs> devoting, devoting a show to the sacred energy of God in a chair. You know, that, that's a beautiful thing. That's a really, really beautiful thing. I would think that, let me do something else while I'm here. Since I'm doing C, H, A, I, R. Okay? We will say, we'll say today, this is the Empress. We will say today, this is the fool. We will say today, this is strength. We will say today, that this is the hermit. And we will say today, this is the moon. Okay, that's what we'll say today. Now, with this chair, we're going to follow this journey a little bit. Okay? It's okay with you. We start with our lives and we have these ideas. And we have these ideas of what is pretty and what is ugly, what is tasteful and what is disgusting. We have these ideas. And these ideas are false because there's nothing that is disgusting. And there's nothing just as much that is beautiful. It is all a perception. And this perception comes from this empress that is within yourself that you have trained her. You have trained her. You have filled her with the way that she's supposed to act and feel and think and all of those things. You've done this. You have done this. Then you have... The strength, I was going to go over there because that fool is the, the one that's on this journey. But you have the strength, you do have the strength to shut out that ego that is causing you all that problem. And you know what that ego is? I might carry this over to another show. That ego is self-awareness. That ego, you've heard me tell this story before about seeing your hand I'll tell that another time. But this ego, I like this. I heard it somewhere, so I'm going to use it right now. Edging God out. I like that. The ego edges God out. And that's what she does. She pushes all those things that are sacred out of your life. The very fact that this is so precious in your life. Then what do we got? C-H-A. There it is. There he is. There's that fool. The fool says, once you have diminished that ego and said, okay, I mean, you're never going to be able to get rid of the whole ego. If you do, you're not going to be here, but that's another story too. But this fool says, okay, things happen for reasons we can't see. Mitzi's telling me to hurry up. i got one minute. The hermit, the hermit, you're going to spend a lot of time in that chair in prayer in meditation and asking what am I doing here what's it all mean where am I going you know I'm not gonna take any of it with me what am I doing get ahead of what become a success what does that mean I was born a success because I'm a living God that come out of nothing how can I add to that I'm here to expand Whatever it is that I am the part of God that needs to expand to evolve. And then, of course, the moon. The womb from which you arose. Your mother. Your earth mother. 
I got to tell you goodbye. I ended the show. I'm going back to my chair. I'm going back to my mother. I'm going back to my womb. I'm going back. And I'm going forward. Goodbye.